Hi, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. As you can see by the title, this is my his and hers guide to Christmas on a budget people, on a budget. You might also notice as well my hair is a hell of a lot darker than it was. That's because I've dyed it before this video with a Poundland hair dye, which I bloody love. Like Poundland hair dyes are, they are the one. But it has gone a little bit darker than I imagined it would go. But I do love it, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, well, I've got no choice now, to be honest. <laughs> In this video, I'm just gonna be showing you different gift ideas, um, his and hers, just general chit chat about like Christmas and how it can be a bit of a strain on people as well. You know, just a few tips and advice and stuff that I can give um, and going from like personal experience as well. And I am doing a giveaway as well, so keep on watching for that. I am gonna be showing you gifts from Poundland that I think are amazing and real cheap ways that you can make them look quite nice. I am gonna be mentioning a few small businesses as well that I'd recommend, especially during this time. I think it's so important to support small. Small businesses need our help more than ever and you'll find Find a lot of them are like way in budget. Everything that I've been coming across is so affordable. To find it a little bit more special as well. So I am going to be sharing my recommendations with you. If you do think you'll like this kind of video, don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe and keep on watching. I went to Panama yesterday and I have to say I was very impressed. Very impressed people. All of their gifts are pretty amazing this year. I just feel like if you're on a budget, head to Poundland, honestly. Like they have got so much in. But I am going to show you everything that I got and how I'm going to put it together. So um, I got these from Poundland. I have to say they are very soft so these are just little cozy slippers they've got grippers on the bottom as well which is really handy two quid for these slippers can you believe it what i like about these is they don't look too quid they're very luxurious feeling so i really like that they are a one size fits all i've never understood that logic one size fits all i've, I've never got it maybe i should do a one size fits all video <laughs> and we should test it out something else from poundland that i picked up which i'm so impressed with for a quid a quid this notebook set and a pen like how nice is this so it says on the front really fabulous amazing plans just think to look at that you wouldn't say that it was a pound on product it's a quid so um yeah really impressed with that i also picked a box of dairy milk up because i've done a couple of giveaways on my instagram you know what i'm quite impressed that i didn't eat a box um i only had one but i used one box for like both pictures i was always going to go out and get another box but i'm surprised i'm surprised i didn't eat the other box i'm very impressed with myself to be honest because the fat shit that i am you know i was tempted i was tempted there was many times i went to the cupboard and thought mm, mm, you know and i never did so i'm very impressed with myself these are only two quid and it's a decent box of chocolates nestle dairy box they've got loads of selection boxes in as well they've got reese's they've got cadbury's got loads of advent calendars in loads of cadbury ones and they've also got non-branded ones which are kind of like the character ones ones that taste like absolute shit but kids love them they've got those in another selection of chocolate for two quid which i think you're gonna like is this it's a little fries selection box for two quid so you get turkish delight the fries chocolate cream and the peppermint cream i have to say i do like fries chocolate so when i seen this i thought yes Yes, two quid. I think if you know someone that loves fries, then this is perfect for two quid. I picked this up as well, which I think looks a little bit more expensive than it was. So it was only a quid. A signature range, oh yeah, you know, sounds a little bit MS. How the old uh, other half live. Rich, creamy sea salt fudge. So yeah, I thought that looked a little bit more expensive than it was. You can just fool everyone at Christmas. <laughs> Something else I picked up as well, which I thought looked quite nice, were these bath fizzers. For a quid, I think these are a bargain. Perfect to fill out a hamper or a Christmas box. If you're anything like me, I like to sit in the bath for hours. It's one of my favourite things to do. And this is a perfect gift. Like, look at that packaging. You know, it doesn't have to be expensive. So you can make little hampers, little bath bundles, like bedtime bundles, just little care packages, you know, just something to really relax and unwind. You can chuck a little sachet of hot chocolate in there, do you know? Just real nice little touches like that. I also picked this up as well, which is a little sheet mask. So this is a bamboo fibre sheet mask with pomegranate fruit extract. Um, and it's vegan as well. The thing with Poundland is it is a good shop, but people will hear the word Poundland and be like, I'm not getting my family gifts from Poundland. When actually there's some really cool stuff in there that like fits every budget, do you know what I mean? Things that are like one pound, two pound, three pound, like is a bargain, do you know what I mean? You're not breaking the bank, you're not skinning yourself. I don't always like dismiss Poundland because I think it's bloody amazing. Over the weeks, I have been collecting little bits of Poundland makeup. Not just the Olivia Hayes, I think it is, Olivia Hayes range, translucent setting powder and their brow pencil is amazing they've also been selling branded makeup as well and that's perfect for anyone you know that loves makeup or yourself you have to treat yourself i always say it but it's so important to treat yourself i quite often pick myself little bits up here in there that don't cost the earth bit of makeup just nice smellies and stuff like i think it's really important to like treat yourself so don't forget about yourself people like self-love and care is everything help the mind 
honestly. The pound I have been selling branded makeup and I picked up this which is Maybelline. That's a really nice colour. It had loads of different colours, loads of different nail varnishes, loads of different blushes, lipsticks, eyeshadows, all branded. Like this is Maybelline in Poundland and it was only a quid. It was a quid. This one I picked up is this brand here. I'm not sure how to say it, bourgeois, but bourge, bourgeois. That's a little brow pomade. You know, a quid. It's a nice chunky one as well. You can use it for eyeshadow, I don't just have to be brows. But like a quid for that brand. Another brand they've had in as well at the minute. And in a previous video, I did do a price comparison online. And they've got this Eyelure, Eyelure, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. If you are new to my channel, I'm really shit at pronunciation. Not in a disrespectful or rude way. I just, I struggle to get my words out, to be honest. But um, Eyelure, Eyelure I'm going to go for. So these are brow stencils. So, you know, you get your little brow pencil you've just picked up. And, uh, you know, play about a bit. Again, stick these in a stocking. They have started to have this brand in, which is usually quite expensive. Like, not expensive, but it's a lot more than a pound, let me tell you. One of my favourite products that I picked up in Poundland is by this brand, double-sided highlighter pencil. Um, but it's a big, chunky one, so it's really nice. And I use it on my inner corner and my brow bone. And that was a quid. I definitely recommend checking out the makeup aisle in Poundland, you know. Another favourite of mine at Poundland as well is the Firm McCann range. So look at these lashes for a quid. How nice are they? And they're good quality as well. I always get the Firm McCann lashes. Although I have found on Instagram a page called Pound Lashes. I will link everything down below that I mentioned. But Pound Lashes, they are amazing quality. This is a new range she's bought out. But they are very good. These look really fluffy. And I have to say, I don't think they look like unrealistic. I've shown this before, but... This is something I picked up from Powland. So this is a mascara to blend your falsies in. So it all blends together and it looks a bit more real. So with all these little bits, you could make a right little makeup box. Maybelline and Eyelure and nice fluffy lashes, all for a quid. Also as well for 50p, got some face wipes, which is just really handy to have. I do recommend a little bit more than face wipes for skincare. I am a notorious face wipe and bed person i've said before but i am trying to be a bit better with my skincare face wipes anyway to start off with to get all that shit off also picked up some chocolate as well because i do love a bit of terry's you know i've been seeing a lot of like this land of nod range at powerland and i haven't been able to get in it but i went to a different store and i managed to get some of the bits and bobs i'm sure there was a spray um but i couldn't find it but i'm not too fussed i think the packaging looks so pretty so there's that one and then some bath powder which just looks so nice. And then these two as well. So some bath salts and this bath bar, which is just like a nice big bar of soap. Axing and calming lavender flavour. Scents. Scent. Not flavour, people. You can't eat it. But I was thinking, you know, you could make a little hamper with those and this moon lamp. And this moon lamp is two quid. I had to get another one. My boys love it. Very bright. I have to say it really does resemble the moon. Honestly, it's very nice lighting. Decent size as well. Like you could stick all this range in a hamper together. You know, Bob's your uncle. You'll be gone in 10 minutes. To do that, six quid six quid also picked this up as well which was only two quid very impressed with this honestly like so impressed this is something that i would probably buy from another shop at a lot more than two quid it says on it cozy daydreaming really soft earmuffs as well like all attached to it nice little bow on top two quid like birthdays christmas keep your own ears warm while i was in there i did pick up some shorts as well which were reduced to three quid um so i got my size 16 and they were reduced so it's kind of like their loungewear range from the summer but i just thought these would be really nice to chill in at night so as well picked up these i feel like it's not christmas if you haven't got good old ceiling decks up I had these as a kid and i just love them i have them every year so i've got two of them to put up tonight i also got this as well which i think is really cool so it's a little whiskey puzzle of 100 whiskies from around the world so if you know a whiskey lover like this is perfect and it was only two quid it's very well packaged got all the pictures of all the different whiskies on the back and all the names and um, a little handle as well so for two quid like two quid puzzles drive me mad to be honest i ain't got the patience i ain't gonna lie grab some black bags as well because we needed some i picked these up as well which i bloody love memory foam slippers these are so soft like they're so soft they were four quid four quid these are in a size large it ain't christmas if you ain't been bought a pair of slippers if you take that price tag off you wouldn't have thought these are from poundland and what even is christmas if you haven't been bought a pair of socks really nice fluffy socks and these were only two quid another absolute bargain at poundland is this so it's a mr always right mug with a pair of socks in like they're attached two quid for this 
What a bargain. You know, it's a massive mug as well. Sort of like the Sports Direct mug that everyone's got. So I picked up this bottle of aftershave as well, which says Jape. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a dupe for dupe. Dupe for dupe. Dupe. No, dupe. You don't say dupe, dupe, do you? <laughs> anyway, Poundland do a lot of dupes, which, you know, some are all right. They have got a black opium one as well, which smells quite nice. It doesn't last too long on your body, but to be fair, the actual black opium itself, like the branded one, doesn't. I've had a few bottles of that, one of my favourite perfumes, and it doesn't last. And now what? It smells like you've not even put any on. So I definitely recommend the Poundland ones, because, like, it does smell pretty similar. If this is a copy of that, then, you know, what a bargain, because I quite like the smell of dupe. Grab this as well, which I thought was quite cool. So this is a USB power bank. It's compatible with most phones, charges most USB devices and an MP3 player. This was only a quid. Got all different colours, but I thought that's quite handy to have because like everybody always runs out of charge, don't they? I certainly do. Do you know why? Because I'm really sad and I play Pokemon Go. <laughs> it's the battery drainer. Honestly, I love it. Just out and about catching Pokemon. <laughs> Also as well, picked up some body spray, um, 50p. And with everything that I've just shown you as well, like if you was to make a bit of a hamper, like it's quite a nice handy thing to have, a bit of body spray. Picked up these, which are quite cool little stocking fillers um, or hamper fillers, Christmas box fillers, anything. So I got this little sports quiz, which is quite cool, especially around Christmas and that. Everyone likes a good old quiz, don't they? So um, this is the ultimate sports quiz. Um, so I grabbed that, that was only a quid. So this as well, like I love shit like this. I'm not gonna lie, like I absolutely love shit like this. It's a little ping pong set for your desk. Um, I just, you know, I love shit like this, I have to say. Then some table golf, cause why the hell not? If the lighting has changed slightly, it's because it's a couple of hours later, I've had to do the school run, bits and bobs in between. So if you was going down the hamper route to make gifts and stuff, Poundland sell a hamper kit. I picked up these two baskets, which are a decent size to be fair. And you can also buy these as well with a cellophane um, and a bow. So what has this got? Contains shredded paper, a bow and cellophane. So is that how you say it, cellophane. It's one of them words where um, it just sounds weird, you know when you say it like is that really the word cellophane these are only a pound each as well i always think that hampers look a little bit more special like a little bit more work's gone into it and a little bit more thought so i've got my little one pound basket and my shredded silver stuff and then i'm just going to start filling it with everything i want in this hamper obviously everyone's arrangement is different i've got my jape which is a dupe for dupe a little pink pong set here Little sports quiz here don't mind these scratches as well you know cat mum life i get scratched up all the time um this was by my edward that you all said was so lovely in my last video <laughs> um he is really lovely but he does scratch and um some spray i'm not very good at this part this isn't my forte if that's the word just make sure it looks half decent you know what i mean just want you all to know i've just had a massive fight with this off camera this looks really shit to be honest <laughs> i totally messed the bow up anyway you get my point you probably do it a lot better than me like i'm well shit at stuff like this i'll just stick a massive bow there but if you want a budget all of this comes to under a tenner and then the other little bits as well so you know the puzzle the mug and the slippers and that just proves that you don't have to break the bank, honestly. These are quality as well, people, for four quid. Like, they're really soft memory foam. Like, you can see my finger imprint. Like, they're so soft. And then onto this one, which we're going to kind of make into a nice pamper relaxation um, hamper. This Land of Nod collection. Um, we're going to stick in some lashes. Pop in some of this Eyelaw range. I think that's how you say it. Um, we'll stick some of that in. And, um, you know... This is all from Powerland. Play around with how you want it and you can make it look really nice. Like I said, I'm rubbish at stuff like this, but um, you know, I think that looks really nice. I'd be so happy to receive that if this was a gift to me. Don't mind that on this one. Again, I've totally shagged on the bow, but I'll sort that out. Um, I'll make that look pretty before it goes anywhere. So yeah, that's that hand pole, all done from Powerland. Honestly, you do not have to break the bank, people. Got the little moonlight as well, perfect gift. And the little notebook as well. And chocolates and stuff everybody loves a bit of chocolate and this which i really love like what a bargain for two quid and lastly these fluffy slippers which i bloody love so many ways of doing it as well how sell little christmas boxes that you can fill with like lashes there's land of nod range makeup anything like that they sell books as well so you can pretty much get anything for a hamper or a christmas box so that is everything from powerland that i am so impressed with 
like the power bank. Um, I was supposed to put that in there. As I was saying earlier, with like small businesses, it is really important to like support small during this time. So I've got a few that I wanna show you. I will pop a few bits on the screen. I'll also link their page as well. First one that I'm gonna show you is what I did show in my clean with me video. And it's Rubin Aru, I think that's how you say it. But this is their page. They have some real quality stuff. It's a little small business, literally sell everything on there. But what really stood out to me was the pillowcases that I was sent. Like I said, it represents so much. The other one that I was sent as well, which is just beautiful. Like I absolutely love this, it means so much. Another small business that I am, oh, I, I love. So this on Instagram is Blind Date Books. The main basis of it is a book. Um, it's like a little care package. You don't know what the book's gonna be, but you message and say what genre you're into and you will get a mystery book in that genre and loads of other little goodies. And I just think it's amazing. Like honestly, it's... <laughs> So I chose Crime and Thriller and this was my book. A lovely little bookmark with that. The book was wrapped, so beautiful as well. As you can see, I was sent quite a bit. Perfect, just for that little bit of surprise and all the goodies you get around it as well. The lady behind it, Gemma, is so nice, honestly. Just DM all your inquiries to her on Blind Date Books. Some people don't have Instagram, but she is on Facebook as well. Another one of my favorites is an inspired website. It's designer, but not a designer price because obviously it's like designer inspired. So the page on Instagram is Paris Emporium. And I recently got a Christmas Christine Dior inspired bracelet and a Tiffany inspired necklace. Very pretty um, with like the Tiffany stamp on. But my absolute favourite honestly is the Christine Dior inspired bracelet. Perfect if like me you like to look all bougie but you're broke. This is the Dior inspired bracelet. I love the chunkiness of it. You know what it's really hard to tell because on here my camera's not going to pick it up. It actually says Dior um, imprinted in. I absolutely love it. Another one that I'd really recommend is Angel Acrylic Store as well. If you want custom made acrylics, like head to this page, honestly. You just send over a design that you like the look of um, and say that's what you'd like on your nails and voila, they're in the post. Mine have lasted so long and I'm pretty sure I could get another go out of them as well. This one is one of my favourites. I recently ordered a few bath bombs from there and some soap and bits and bobs. Everything I ordered was like so affordable. I don't have a shop like Lush or anything near me. So when all these arrived, I was dead happy um, and they left my skin feeling really nice. So that's Anglesey Soap. I hope I've said that right. As you know, I'm really into my plants at the minute. And there's so many real cool, quirky plant pots on it, all hand-painted as well. Everything's hand-painted on it. I don't like things all the time to look so proper. And these are just so quirky. I'm definitely gonna be ordering from these very soon. Very affordable as well. Perfect, quirky little gift. With Christmas, you know, like a lot of people stress unnecessarily. Like you don't have to stress about it. It's all in your control. There's so many ways to cope with Christmas. It shouldn't feel so like stressful. Like Christmas is a fun time. Obviously this year is very different, but there's so many ways to like manage Christmas and still make it really enjoyable. Like I've mentioned before, I don't buy for anybody else apart from my household. And that's because it gets ridiculously expensive. I didn't think I was gonna get that out then. It's too much. And I understand that everybody's different, you know. So what my partner's family do, I think I've mentioned this before, is they do a secret Santa with a budget. Just buy in for one person and it makes it fun as well. I think what takes the fun out of Christmas is the fact that you're buying for so many people. Like the list goes on and on and on. And then it's just like, I can't do all this. And you end up getting in a bit of bother, you know, you're getting in a bit of debt, you're maxing out the credit cards, you're getting loans. Like loans are just so stupid. I've been there and done that. So as a person, I love to give. I love helping others, I love to give. But you have to be really realistic and sometimes rein that back a bit and think, okay, like I come first, my family comes first and I'm gonna have to like knock off all these people on the list. Not literally, don't, don't go knocking off everyone on the list, jeez. <laughs> Might get you in a bit of bother, people. I just feel like, why put yourself under all that pressure just for one day? People will understand, and if they don't, that's their problem. Do you know what I mean? If you are buying for loads of people, like just scroll the internet, look for discount codes. Black Friday is always a good one. Sometimes you can get a really good bargain, and sometimes the price has been hiked up a couple of weeks before, and then they knock it back on Black Friday. Look for discount codes, use Boots 3 for 2, use Argos's 3 for 2. Boots do some really affordable skincare. So you could put like a little skincare package together for less than a tenner. Places like The Entertainer is amazingly cheap for all like your branded toys and stuff like that. Like very, very, very cheap. I cannot stress enough, like B&M bargains and home bargains sell pretty much anything. You can literally do every single person at B&M and home bargains because they have everything. One of my biggest tips is to not always buy first hand. I know a lot of people will hear that and be like, oh, second hand, I can't do it. But you know what? Recycled and second hand things aren't like awful. Honestly, don't rule it out. You can get some bargains on places like Gumtree, eBay, Marketplace on Facebook. So my kids are really into their technology and stuff. Now, if 
I went to Curry's or game or anywhere like that, went in to buy a PlayStation 4 or something like that, then that's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. But you know, if I go on Facebook Marketplace and type in PS4 or Xbox One or Nintendo Switch, you can get some bargains. Let me tell you, there was a PlayStation 4 for 60 quid, fully working with controllers, and I think it had a game with it, 60 quid. 60 quid. You can get really good smartphones, like dirt cheap dirt cheap honestly you know what if you do get a console or anything or a smartphone and you can't get it boxed just get another box and put a bow around it like honestly it doesn't matter don't feel embarrassed or ashamed like just for example i bought this mark hill um waiver i think it is um off facebook and this was less than a tenner for this I wanted this for ages less than a tenner please don't feel embarrassed honestly there's so much more of a meaning to christmas than being skin and stress like it should be an enjoyable time i buy a lot new but i equally buy a lot second hand with everything in my house furniture i also got a facebook the fortnite bus for a fiver online it was 35 pound plus I wrapped it up and put a bow around it it was over the moon the kids don't open it and go well what the hell is this where's the packaging show me the receipt an eight-year-old ain't gonna do that do you know what i mean but anyway that's that it's probably a really long video i do apologize thanks for coming to my little talk <laughs> anyway now to the fun part everything you have just seen from poundland my little hampers and all the other gifts as well i am giving away moonlight um all of the land of nod range both hampers all the chocolate, the slippers, just everything you can see here. If you do want to be in with a chance to win all of that, then all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, Bay J. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. It's not part of like the giveaway terms or anything, like giveaway terms. All right, all right, Karen. Just be subscribed to my channel. Let me know in the comments on this video that you've done that. Just put subscribed at the end of your comment and then I'll know because I'll put it in like a random generator and it'll just pick a winner. That's how I do all of my giveaway winners. Share my video on your socials. That'd mean a lot as well. Um, Facebook, Instagram, anything like that um, truly would mean a lot. I will announce the winner on Thursday, the 26th of November and everything will be sent out in time for Christmas. And if you are going to have the hampers out there, you probably want to rewrap it because my wrapping is shit. I hope whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world right now, you're having a great day or evening and I'll see you in my next video.